Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about this formula. This formula I got from a website called Maxwell uh, under the damage reduction category, uh, which actually speak about, in general, defense for beginners. And basically I wanted to start learning some of the math formulas, how some of the things in Diablo 4 are calculated mathematically. But because I'm not that smart, I needed some help. And I actually used chat uh, GTP in order to help me out. And basically, if you don't know, this is AI. So I used several things. Hopefully, then this is the uh, exact formula that actually been used for damage reduction in Diablo 4. But let's try to understand it further. So first of all, let's try to explain this formula. Well, chat GPT does actually a very good job and it actually remembers your question. But basically, that's what it's saying. The interpretation of the equation, uh, I'm just going to skip this part. The variable dr now represent the damage reduction provided by each source or method and I represent the index of each source or method. The product symbol, the big pi that you see there, indicate that we are multiplying the damage reductions of all sources or method together. Uh, this is by the uh, compared to sigma, which is actually addition. Here we are actually multiplying it. So again, dr means uh, the damage reduction, uh, and basically I represent the index of each source, and the product symbol, the big pi that you see there, indicates that we are multiplying the damage reductions of all the sources uh, rather than adding them. If we have sigma, for example, symbol means we are adding them. Here they are actually multiplying it. So basically, we're multiplying uh, each source of damage reduction we're actually having. I mean, volume. So this is an example that I got from ChatGPT. Let's say that we have two sources of damage reduction, source A and source B, each with a damage reduction rate of 50%. As long again, there are damage reduction for a specific source, right? It can be for a different one that don't stack. In this case, let's say that it's the same. Uh, each with a damage reduction rate of 50%, all right? So we have the first one uh, is going to be uh, uh, 0.5, 50%, and the other one is going to be 50% as well. We can use the formula uh, that I explained to calculate the total damage reduction provided by both sources, right? And you can see that 1 minus 1 minus 0.5, multiplying that by another one, which is 1 minus 0.5, you can see the result is 75%. I mean, 0 0.75, which is again, uh, 1 is 100, so it gives us 75%. So if you have 2 of 50%, uh, uh, we won't actually get to 100%. All right, it's multiplication, not additive. All right, and there's an example there, just in case you get an attack, you know, uh, how much damage you're going to get at the end. So this is another example. Uh, that I asked and was given by ChatGPT, and this is for four volumes of 0.3, all right? For uh, damage reduction of a 30% stack, and you can see that at the end, we're gonna get 65.7. Basically, you think you can become invincible, well, it's not possible, all right? Again, everything is uh, multiplied. All right, keep in mind, you can post the video at any point uh, to kind of spend more time on it. This is by the regarding uh, the symbol, capital pi, right? It's product symbol. It's not like sigma where you actually add, summarize, all right? It's a product. You actually multiply each value with the other value, other values. But it doesn't mean there is no additive uh, damage reduction. It does exist, for example, if you have something like passives uh, or if you are, for example, using uh, the raw skill dark shroud when it gives you... Um, uh, stacking damage reduction uh, for each shadow that you have. So this one actually is additive, all right? But generally speaking here, the calculation of the damage reduction based on what I understand here is um, multiplication. All right, so we can see here, for example, uh, surround yourself with uh, up to five protective shadows. Again, 11.2 uh, damage reduction uh, per active shadow. All right, so this is Additive. Keep in mind the volumes that you see here again might change again. I don't have a final version of how it will be uh, finalized in the, when the game is out. Uh, we can expect to have some change, but that's again uh, kind of a more or less uh, the core principle, right? So my volumes might be different, but 
So again, here in this example, it's not multiplicative, it's additive. -tive. Yeah, so basically I start my study uh, to learn more about the album 4, how things are calculated. So I'll be ready when the game is out. If you find anything wrong, different, uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'll continue to study other things and learn more. So I'll be ready when Diablo 4 comes out, really understand how things work, uh, all the numbers behind the scenes. Uh, and yeah, if you have anything to add important, again, let me know in the comment section below so we all can learn from that. And until the next time, thanks for watching. Cheers.